Hi friends, it's Pastor Emily here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about change and how change can be difficult but still good. So Jen and myself and Pastor Nugs experienced a big change over the last few days. The picture you're seeing right now is our old house. Just that top floor right there is where we lived. Well, over the last couple days, we've been moving, and we moved to Titusville so we can be closer to the church. Here you'll see that we boxed up everything we have, and the movers are carrying all of our things into this big truck. Once the truck was packed up, it was ready to drive from our old house to the new house. Jen, me, and our cat Nugs drove in a car to the new house to meet the movers there. Pastor Nugs, our cat, was a little bit nervous. And I'm going to show you a clip in one second of her in the car on the way to the new house. She wasn't very happy about it. Hey Nugs, how do you how do you feel about moving? How do you feel about moving? You ready to go in the new house? Let's get you in there. Okay. Here's the parsonage where we moved. Now you might recognize this house. It's a parsonage, so that means whoever is the pastor lives there. So Pastor Kelly and Pastor Zach used to live in this house too. And now Jen, me, and Pastor Nugs live there. Even though it's a beautiful, beautiful house and we're excited to live here, that doesn't mean it's easy to change from our old house. It can be a little bit scary to do new things, especially when we don't know what it's going to be like. Pastor Nugs was especially nervous about this new house. Remember, she's blind, so it's hard for her to see new places. Here she is right when we got to the new house. Hi, boys and girls. So is Pastor Nugs. Well, I, I'm a little scared because there's these men in my house, and they, they put my stuff in a truck, and now I'm at this new house. Sometimes new houses can be scary, but I, I found this corner, and I'm going to stay here because I feel like it's safe, and, and when I'm ready, I'm going to go out and explore, but right now, I'm just a little scared, and, and it's okay to be scared because New things can be scary sometimes. Here's the living room full of all sorts of our stuff. Nothing's organized. It's kind of all over the place. Like Pastor Nug says, it's okay to be scared when things are new and you don't know what's going on and you don't know where everything is. Sometimes you just have to find a place that feels safe and just wait there until you feel a little bit less scared and a little bit more ready to explore and to see what this new place or this new thing feels like. In the next clip, you'll see Nugs playing with one of her toys. And she was so excited to see that we brought it from the old place to the new place. It helped her to have the courage to come out and explore a little bit when she saw that her favorite toy was here at the new house. My friend new toy is here, and she's my favorite toy in the whole world. Oh gosh, I'm so glad you're your friend. I was so scared that they forgot you. Also, these are my tow towels. My mom says, it's just a towel that I like to lay on, but I call it Tow Tow. <laughs> A 
It definitely takes time to get used to new things and new places, and we might feel all sorts of things. We might feel scared, nervous, excited, uh, brave. We might feel sad that we're leaving what we're used to and going somewhere new. But that's all completely okay. It just takes some time. And as Christians, we can remember that even when we're going through something hard or something new, God is with us and God will be there for us. And we can tell God how we're feeling any time. I know some of you might be getting ready to start school. This might be your first time starting school ever. Or this might just be a little bit different than other years because of the coronavirus pandemic. It's okay to be nervous. It's going to be a little bit different this year, and it'll take some getting used to. But just remember that God is with you, and you can always tell God how you're feeling. And eventually... You'll get used to the new way things are, and you'll feel just as comfortable as you used to. I'm going to show you a picture of Nugs getting pretty comfortable at our new house, and we're feeling pretty good too. And here she is. She found a new place to sit, and she's looking pretty happy. I hope you all have a good week, and I look forward to talking to you next week. Let's end in prayer together. Dear God, thank you for being with all of us, no matter what we're going through. When we have new things happening, when everything is changing, when we're going from a familiar and comfortable place to a new and unfamiliar place. We love you and we thank you that we're with you're with us and that you love us no matter what. In Jesus name. Amen.